During this pandemic, we've all learned new ways to utilize technology to our advantage. And that includes nurses and doctors working at the hospital. Here's Denver 7's Jason Grinauer. It may look like Chelsea Newkirk is playing a video game. Can you tell me a bit more? When did all this start? It all started a few days ago. But in reality, or more accurately, virtual reality, the ICU nurse is working on skills she can use back at Denver Health. You're able to look around and you can walk closer to the patient if you really need to examine something closely. Any fever, cough, or pain in your chest? This high-tech training is part of a study being led by Assistant Professor Angela Powell at the University of Colorado College of Nursing. We know students love it, but does it actually help us with patient care and patient safety? Powell is trying to discover what methods of VR training work best in a healthcare environment. What I hope to uncover is, can we translate this to the bedside? So does simulation work? The idea came up quickly during the early days of the pandemic when students at the college were unable to do clinical work with real patients. All the hospitals and facilities around here wouldn't allow our students because of the need for the, the PPE. I think that VR really allows a really cool experience for all of us because um, it's very low stakes. The study is in the early phases right now and it will likely be a while before students like Chelsea use virtual reality as part of their regular curriculum. I had a bit of pain in my chest before it all started. But for now, she's happy to get extra practice making potentially life-saving decisions. I think the virtual reality, just taking off that pressure, allows you to work in a really comfortable environment and not be afraid to make mistakes. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.